Hello students. Today we are going to take this example of PRMO 2014, where x1, x2, x3 are the real num 2x 2014 are the real numbers, different from one. They can be positive or negative, and the sum is given as as one, right? And one more thing is given here: that x1 upon one minus x1 plus x2 upon 1 minus x2 then x2014 upon 1 minus x2014 is equal to 1 and we have to find this value now we have to find this value so it is quite obvious that if we want to find this value then this value should be transformed in the term of the given things now if we take the first term this first term x1 square upon 1 minus x1 we have x1 upon 1 minus x1 right so what we can do we can minus 1 and plus 1 here so that we can consider this term x1 square minus 1 plus 1 upon 1 minus x1 and 1 minus x1 uh, by factorizing we will get x1 minus 1 into x1 plus 1 upon 1 minus x1 plus 1 upon 1 minus x1 so you can see that this term is getting cancelled by minus 1 so we will get x1 square upon 1 minus x1 the, this term as minus x1 minus 1 plus 1 upon one now but we want the term one x1 upon 1 minus x1 here right and we get that 1 upon 1 minus x1 so if we use this term if we multiply this term with this so this will become minus 1 plus x1 plus 1 upon whole upon 1 minus x1 and we will get this term as minus x1 plus x1 upon 1 minus x1 we get this term and we get this term also x1 right uh, though it is in negative sign uh, it will not matter right so our question is x1 square upon 1 minus x1 plus x2 square upon 1 minus x2 up to x2014 square upon 1 minus x2014 square sorry we can write this term as this minus x1 plus x1 upon 1 minus x1 similarly we can write this term as similar to this minus x2 similar to this minus x2 plus x2 upon 1 minus x1 and this will go on up to minus x2014 plus x2014 upon 1 minus x2014 if we take this term at one side by taking minus sign common we will get x1 plus x2 plus x3 up to x2014 and we will get x this term if we take this term common uh, if we take this term to the other side then we will get this sequence which is given which is given that's why we have factorized it in this form so as you can see this both terms this both values are given up here here and here so this will become minus 1 as the summation is 1 and this will become also 1 so answer will be 0 right so it was an interesting question but you have to figure out that if something is given you need to convert that thing in the same term thank you